Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico at the Creativity Cave and I have super cute projects to share with you today. I love them and they're super duper easy. Today's projects are going to feature Stampin' Up's Heartfelt Bundle that includes the Heartfelt Stamp Set and then the Heart Punch Pack. And there's two big heart punches and one's a solid, one's a scallop and they're awesome together. So I wanna show you how I used these items on these two projects. I'm going to start with a half a sheet of pool party cardstock. I'll just fold that in half and um, get my own folder to get a good crease. I'm going to set that aside for a moment. Uh, I also have a four by five and a quarter inch piece of basic gray, which I'll stamp on here in a moment. And then I also have a three by four. Yes, just verifying. <laughs> Three by four inch piece of Whisper White cardstock. I'm going to put a little piece of paper down to protect my work surface because I'm going to stamp off the edges a little bit on here. So, and let me pull my card up so you can see it again. Uh, I'm going to use kind of a, a subtle but a little, I don't want to say non-traditional because I wouldn't say that, but just, you know, sometimes you'd need a little Valentine card that's not pink or red. So I thought this would be nice. I've got Pool Party, Highland Heather, Pear Pizzazz, and of course the Basic Gray. So I'll start with my Pool Party and I'm just going to stamp a little heart on here. But before I did that, I want to show you something. Um, I had also stamped this with some Melon Mambo ink right before, and it's pretty, it's kind of stained my stamp, and that bugs me a little. So I'm going to take this thing. This is our stamp cleaning pad, and I will tell you right now, this is not what they look like when you get them, <laughs> but this has been very well used and loved. You can get refills for this, which is wonderful, but I'm just going to literally kind of scrub my stamp on this pad, and then what you want to do with that is clean it in your chamois or whatever you use to clean your stamps. Okay, now you can see that is substantially lighter. I got a lot of the staining off, and the good news about that is, is when I put it in this nice light, um, and I do want to make sure this is clean before I do it, when I put it in my nice light um, pool party ink, it's not going to pick up that um, pink that was stained in there, okay? So I'll stamp one of those down here. Oh, perfect. And you do want to just wash this off, you know, of your stamp. So I, you, you saw I cleaned it and then I wiped it on my chamois. The reason is because whatever solventy stuff is in there, you just don't want it to break down your photopolymer stamps in particular, but all, both types of stamps, rubber and photopolymer. Okay, I'll switch to Pear Pizzazz and stamp another heart and then finish with my... Um, Highland Heather and you know what I didn't clean my stamp in between and guess what that looks bad so let's flip it over and try it again that's the beauty of cardstock is there are two sides so if at first you mess up try try again all right so we'll stamp that right there I'll switch to my pear pizzazz and I'm gonna clean in between because that's how I'm going to roll. <laughs> and then I will clean. And then I can even see there's a little bit of a shadow on here on my ink pad. Now, no worries about that. I can, um, much better. I can just uh, re-ink my ink pad and it'll be just fine. Okay, I got that done. Now what I want to do is take and stamp um, my little dotted outline heart. I'm stamping this in basic gray ink and I'm going to do this just kind of going over all three. Now before I did this on my when I was making the sample up I did verify that this would reach with my punch. So I'll take and punch that heart out and it really helps kind of give some definition to this punch as well. Okay so that's kind of an important step. I'm also going to stamp my sentiment which is so lucky 
to have a friend like you. Sorry, I had to clean it quick. I'm going to stamp that in basic gray as well, right in the center of this. And you could do that first if you wanted, but you don't have to. Okay, now I do have a little tip for you. So I was going to stamp my um, little arrow here, but when I tried it uh, originally, um, and you can kind of see that here, there wasn't, I can stamp it right across here, but it just kind of barely covers. So if you want to elongate this, I'm going to ink up kind of the first half and then I'll stamp that down. All right, then I'll clean off the first half. I'm just cleaning this on my chamois. Okay, and then I'm gonna ink up the back half. And all I wanna do is make sure my point is pointing directly at my top arrow. And then you can see I spread that arrow and made it a little longer across here, which is kind of awesome. And then we'll just pop this up right here onto our card. Okay, now I'm going to also add a little background to my card, so I'll take that outline and just stamp this a few times randomly in the background to create just kind of a coordinated background. It's not too busy, but it, it kind of carries the pattern through, which I love. And then we'll adhere this together with a little ribbon and embellishment. All right, so I'll take uh, I've got some of our new seam, crinkled seam binding ribbon in white. This is beautiful ribbon and it ties really nicely. I'm going to tie a bow with this. And it also um, does not add bulk to your card. So you can tie that bow and still put it in the mail, which is great. I love that about this ribbon. Um, I also love that it's white and so it goes with everything. And there is nothing better than white ribbon, in my personal opinion. Okay, so I'll just, like I said, tie that bow. And then we're going to pop this panel up onto our basic gray panel. Okay, and look at that. Oh, I love when I can tie bows on cards nicely. And then, like I said, not have that big bulk from the bow. Okay, so we've got that on there. Like I said, I'll pop this up. I'm going to make a little coordinating treat bag, but I changed the colors on my treat bag, you might have noticed. And that was because the treat I had to go with them was a different color. And I think, and I'm just kind of like throwing dimensionals on here. I don't know. Um, but I really liked my little uh, jelly bellies. They're so cute. They're, they've kind of got in here. I'll show you. They've kind of got a little shimmer happening on them, which is so much fun. It's They're like pearlized. Do you see that? Isn't that pretty? And here. Oh, yeah. They're good, too. Okay. I have a couple more. You know, you got to fuel the creative process, right? Okay. Now I'm going to pop this one up as well. I can also, if I want, add a little layer by punching one of these scalloped hearts. Now I don't, I didn't do that on my original sample, but I think I'm going to do it here and I like the look of it. But I will tell you on my original sample, the reason I didn't do it is because my arrow was too close together. And so that's by kind of elongating it, that will allow this uh, to happen a little bit better. Okay, so I will just take and adhere this to my scalloped heart. And then we're going to pop this up. Now I already have that white layer popped up once, so we're actually gonna pop this up doubly. To do that, I'm just gonna put twice as many dimensionals on here. So I've got three down and I'll put three more, but I'm gonna stack that second set of three on top of the first set of three, and then that will give me a double pop-up. It's very exciting stuff, you guys. <laughs> All right, and then the last thing that I'll do is just embellish this with some rhinestones because, let's be honest, bling makes everything better. <laughs> I, I do believe that to be true. 
Oh, and look at this. This is very satisfying. I have one, one bling left on this sheet. Oh, this makes me so happy. Okay, so I'm going to just, let me see here. I think I'm going to put that right there. And then I'm going to take and put, ooh, not sure what happened there. This is like on, there's like a little string or something. That was interesting. Oh, and now it's, goodness. <laughs> Okay, I love my take your pick tool because it makes this so process so much easier. All right, so I've got a couple there and then I'm going to put one over there. Maybe I should have put it there. It doesn't matter. All right, <laughs> and then I'm just going to adhere this to my card and then voila. And I'll show you how I put together my little treat bag because that's really cute and simple. Oh, isn't that fun? All right, now what I love about this is it's a Valentine for a friend. And I think sending Valentines to friends is a great idea. Now, I can also tell you that friends will very much love a, a treat like this. So let me show you how I did this. This features our little treat bags. They're called um, printed gusseted cellophane, ba cellophane, cellophane bags. They come in a package like this. And I cut off... Um, let's see if I still have the piece. I might have thrown it away. I cut off about probably two, two and a half inches off of this, just because that would have been a lot of Jelly Bellies. I can't afford to give that many Jelly Bellies to my friends. Sorry, those Jelly Bellies aren't cheap. But let me show you how I, and then I just tied this with a bow. So that's, you know, very simple. Let me show you how I did the little tag that's on there. I guess it's not really a tag. It's just a decoration. So I'll grab my scrap paper. And I'm going to stamp my little dots in some lovely lipstick ink. And then I'll stamp my sentiment in the center as well. I have to clean that off quick. So lucky to have a friend like you. So that's easy. I'll punch this out. And by the way, I have to tell you, I have a really awesome occasions catalog card class that features this bundle along with uh, a few other things and I'll have the details for that in the link uh, it, to register in the uh, description of this video as well as on my blog post and links for that will be there as well. All right I'm also going to take a scrap of lovely lipstick card stock. We'll punch that with my scalloped heart and to kind of coordinate with my little jelly bellies I'm gonna just paint on some clear wink of Stella and that will sort of pearlize my scalloped heart which I thought was kind of clever all right I'll pop that up onto the scalloped heart or the regular heart or you know what I mean if I could only find my I was gonna say I've got dimensionals all over the place here all right so we'll pop these up And then I smudged that a little, but that's okay because we're going to cover that up with a little faceted gem. Okay, so I've used a whole bunch of these, but there's still tons in here. Now, uh, on the biggest size of these gems, I take and put them just on a glue dot because that's just, I mean, let's be honest, super easy. So we can cover up our little thingy right there. Then I want to add a couple smaller ones to this. And so for that, I'm actually going to um, just put a couple dots of glue. And I put, I'll put a white and a pink on here. And so you just set that down and then it dries fairly quickly, which is great. I'll put a little white one on down here. Now my take your pick tool. There we go. Uh, sometimes wants to hold on to these a little bit. Um, and which it is doing right now. It's like got... Let's see if I can get this on here. Come on. 
Um, I actually slid the whole gem off of my sample and you couldn't tell. So that was kind of awesome. There we go. But these dry fairly quickly and then it looks like this. And so this was the one I slid off and you can't even tell. So anyway, I just added that. I just um, put, it, put it on with some glue dots and it stuck to my bag perfectly. So I hope you love this video. If there's anything you would like to purchase through my online store, I'd be so grateful for your business. I have a great VIP rewards program and I'd love to welcome you to that. And all of those details can be found on my blog. Thank you guys so much for stamping with me today. And thank you so much for your business. It helps bring more videos like this. And I can't wait to stamp with you again very soon. We'll see you. Bye-bye.